Cowboys are here for week number 17. It's the season finale here in 2008. And this bitter rivalry continues between the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles. Hello, everybody. I am Joe Buck. Troy Aikman and Pam Oliver both coming up. Well, how many times have we come on the air talking about a matchup in the NFC East? And we've said, well, it doesn't matter what time of year. It doesn't matter what the standings say. This is going to be a fun day. Well, it does matter what time of year. It does matter what the standings say. And Troy Aikman, because the perfect combination happened for Philly, the Cowboys knew coming in if they won this game they're in, this has just turned into a playoff game. Well, that's right. And I know that the Eagles all week long had said, hey, we're going to play hard regardless of what our situation is. Well, now, as you said, they're playing for a lot. And you don't have to tell this crowd that they're playing for something. They've picked their intensity up as well. Let's talk about these two defensive clubs. I mean, the first time around week two, 78 points total were scored in the game. I, I wouldn't expect we'll see the same type game here today. No. Oh, and the reason for that is, is that these are two different defenses than what each team saw in week two, both playing very, very well. I look at this game, I don't think, even though these are offenses that make big plays, I don't think this is going to be about big plays. I think it's going to be which team has the fewest bad plays. Let's get a last-minute field report and go down to the field level to Pam Oliver. Well, Joe, you do not have to ask any hard-hitting questions to get into the minds of the Dallas Cowboys. Tony Romo told me before the game he's going to approach it this way. He said, I'm going to play relaxed and with a smile on my face. Ryan Dawkins, meantime, he said it didn't matter what happened in the earlier games. What we focus on is the hated Dallas Cowboys. We do not want them coming in our house and beating us. Dawkins, as you know, only plays with one gear, and that's passionate, passionately. And he expects his teammates to completely follow suit. Pam, thank you very much. And uh, how will the Dallas Cowboys respond, knowing now that they are in a game with the Philadelphia Eagles where the winner moves on and the loser will be watching the postseason at home on television. 65 degrees, unseasonably warm. It is windy. Chance for rain later today. Eagles start with a football. And a terrible kickoff to start by Nick Folk and Philadelphia will start at their own 40. But there are so many storylines to talk about within this game. If you want to talk about Dallas, you think about Wade Phillips getting a semi vote of confidence from owner Jerry Jones during the week or for Philadelphia. As you look at their backs and receivers, you look at their offensive line, the two tackles, Thomas and Runyon are free agents to be. And what's the future of Donovan McNabb? in a Philadelphia Eagles uniform, or Brian Dawkins, who we talked about earlier. But right now, what's on the plate is an opportunity to go to the playoffs. Pretty remarkable that last weekend, both of these teams basically thought that they were going to be eliminated after their games from playoff contention. The week came along. Dallas knew that this game was of importance. And just a few moments ago, the Eagles found out the same. First play is nearly picked off, and a good jump by Terrence Newman. Stepped in front of Deshaun Jackson, and we'll see a lot, Troy, of Terrence Newman and Deshaun Jackson hooked up during the course of this day. Yeah, Terrence Newman here over the last few ball games, he has gone with whoever the Cowboys feel is the fastest receiver of an offense's unit, not necessarily the best receiver. Therefore, in this game, Terrence Newman, for the most part, will be on Deshaun Jackson. Newman, a former track star at Kansas State, he can run. On second and ten, McNabb throws, Selleck, the tight end, wide open. 20 yards and a first down for Philadelphia. Well, the Eagles start out, they know that they've got to be able to protect. The Cowboys lead the, lead the NFL in sacks, getting pressure on the quarterback. Donovan has time, and a good route by tight end Selleck. He looks to the inside, gets Keith Davis. Keith Davis looks like he's hobbled a little bit. But he went to the inside, got Keith Davis turned, and then went back out to the sideline in an easy completion. L.J. Smith is not active. The usual starter at tight end has an injured shoulder. Play action. McNabb gets protection and then overshoots everybody. There was some contact with Terrence Newman and Deshaun Jackson. No flag as that ball landed out of the back of the end zone, second and ten. This is an offensive line when you think protection for McNabb that's allowed only 22 sacks this season. 
They don't allow one here today. That would tie a Philadelphia record for fewest allowed in a season. Group up front did it for the Eagles back in 1981. First running play, and it's Brian Westbrook picking up three. And it'll be third and long. Andy Reid, Troy, week after week has to answer questions about his running game, throwing the ball too much. It certainly seemed to be the case last week against the Redskins, and he started this game with three straight throws. Yeah, but I think that it affected Andy Reid. I, I think he honestly looked back at last week's game against Washington and realized that he let that one get away from him in that they didn't stick to what allowed them to have success the previous three weeks. Prior to that, they'd been running the ball on average about 40 times a game. Last week, only 16 runs. And they it made them very, made them very defensible there by Washington. Third down and seven now for McNabb, who has to step up, and the pass is... I guess caught and fumbled as Dallas gets back on top. The officials do not say incomplete. They say catch and fumble by Westbrook, and Dallas takes over at their own 25. Yeah, that's what it looked to me was it, that Westbrook had made the catch. Now let's just take a closer look. He has it and then turns. It looks to me like he has possession of the ball before it gets knocked out of his hands. Brady James, the one coming in to make the play. Looked like Nick Cole might have had an opportunity to get on that one, but was unable to. Terrence Newman ends up on top of the football, and Dallas does indeed have it. No challenge flag from Andy Reid. And he tucks it away. A new audience joins us. This has turned into a playoff game here in Philadelphia. First possession for Dallas. It's Tashard Choice picking up two. If you did just join us, Philadelphia started with a football at their own 40 as a Nick Folk kickoff went out of bounds, then moved it down into Dallas territory. We're on the edge of field goal range. And then moments ago, Brian Westbrook made the catch over the middle, secured it, fumbled it on the hit by Brady James, and Dallas has it now second and eight. A blitz underneath its Witten to the 30, a gain of three, third and five coming up, and here is the Cowboy offense and overall the ninth-ranked offense in the NFL. Yeah, and we just saw Jason Witten make that catch. I'm, I'm interested in seeing how long he'll be able to play or at least how effective he'll be. When he caught a touchdown in last week's loss to the Baltimore Ravens when he walked off the field, I thought that was the last we had seen of Jason Witten. Not only is he playing then with the bad ankle, but he's still recovering from a broken rib that he had earlier in the year. Third down and five. Fourth down. So a three and out from Tony Romo in this Dallas offense. And I'll tell you what, Jim Johnson on those last two plays, I think they got a lot from watching that game last week with the Baltimore Ravens and some of the things that they were able to have some success doing, and that was moving people around on the defensive front, bringing linebackers, getting pressure in Romo's face. They were able to do that on that last possession. Good defensive stop there. Pulaski will punt it. Good punt with the win to Sean Jackson, the rookie from the 25. Room to run. And a good start for the second possession for the Eagles. We'll take a break, come back. Philly will have it with the ball at their own 46 after a 21 yard punt return by Jackson. <sighs> Want to get away? Announcing Southwest Airlines' big year-end sale. Book now and fly Southwest from $49 to $109 to many of our destinations like Denver, Los Angeles, Phoenix, San Diego, Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, and more. This sale ends soon, so book now at Southwest.com. Low fares, no hidden fees. Hi, 
We're here for Simon Drive. Hi. I just leased a Passat for no money down. She wants one too. Or a Jetta. A Passat. A Jetta. A Passat. A Jetta. A Passat. Our new computer can match you to the perfect Volkswagen. Then you drive it away. Signature reveals a need for safety and individuality. Perfect match. A Passat. Jetta. This event is getting very interesting. Sign and drive is back. We select 2009 models for zero down, zero due at signing, and no first month's payment. It's what the people want. After Vikings practice, Adrian Peterson hung out with my friends and me. Are ready? Yeah! I showed off my pump pass and kick skills, and I think he was impressed. Oh, pretty good. That's nice. We got pretty good arms, too. We had a great workout, and I didn't want the day to end. I'm Adrian Peterson, and I'm part of the NFL movement for an active generation. For great play ideas, visit NFLRush.com. Because you had a bad day, you take it one down. You sing a sad song just to turn it around. You had a bad day. Today's Game on Fox is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Low fares, no hidden fees. What a beautiful night in Philadelphia in one of the great stadiums in this country Lincoln Financial Field first down Eagles at their own 46 Westbrook picks up two Ryan Westbrook had over 100 total yards and three touchdowns in the first meeting between these two clubs Darrell Owens has had success this year and last year playing with the Cowboys against his former team the Eagles Dallas just went three and out second and eight for Philadelphia another run it's Buckhalter first down Eagles nine yards and a fresh set of downs for Corral Buckhalter I really think them sticking to the running game and trying to be as balanced as possible is going to be the best thing that the Eagles can do. You watch Deshaun Jackson on the outside, you know, the rookie who had a few drops coming off a tough week this past week after he dropped a game tying touchdown last week against the Redskins, doing a good job there in blocking for the running game. Keith Davis is injured. Another safety is down for Dallas. We'll take a break. Drinkability. Let me explain. According to my poll, 41% thought drinkability meant the ability to drink. 26% said easy to swallow. One guy in Boston told me to get out of his yard. Actually, drinkability means that Bud Light is just the right taste. This is one of your nicer maps. Not too heavy, not too light. Bud Light. The difference is drinkability. I do. I exercise daily. Um, I do. You put your foot down and it just goes. It's kind of saying. Rrr. Boom. The Hemi did it. I love it. It's awesome. Yeah. That Hemi hits hard. Man. Boom. Truck just kicked into gear. I completely forgot I was pulling a trailer. Man, it was amazing. It was a smooth ride. Fantastic. Go, 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 go. That's how we roll. Team. Body language tells the truth. Are the world's ultimate authorities. Her husband just lied to her. In the science of lying. He's faking it. For them, every movement can mean the difference. I didn't kill her. Now that's true. Between innocence and guilt. The question is never if someone is lying. It's why. From the producers of 24. He's lying. Lie to Me premieres Wednesday, January 21st on Fox. This January, Bones moves to a new night. We will go undercover. Are we going to join the circus? New episodes of Bones on a new night, Thursdays this January on Fox. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by Bud Light. The difference is drinkability. Well, this Dallas defense lost Roy Williams early, Pat Watkins, and now... Keith Davis needs a lot of help to get off the field, so first-year player Trey Battle is in its safety, and a handoff is to Westbrook. First down inside the 30 to the 27, a 16-yard run by Brian Westbrook. Tell you what, John Runyon in his 
13th year. It's amazing that he's been able to suit up and play each week. He's battling through a lot. You're going to see him right here, right tackle. He collapses it down right there, and then Westbrook comes right off of his block. And then, of course, you've got Brent Selleck also getting his guy and creating a nice lane there for Brian Westbrook. Runyon making his 192nd consecutive start. And that's now four straight running plays from Andy Reid in this offense as Kyle Eckel picks up two. Well, he did say during the week he was going to run it every play. And then he tagged that with Merry Christmas. So <laughs> He's so tired of hearing about it. But to be honest, and, and I know you think a lot of Andy Reid, there are times where even if the numbers don't back up what he's saying, he'll say, oh, no, you know, we, we, we've always been a balanced team. The, the bottom line is they have not been. They have not been, and they, they certainly were not last week. And I know in talking with Cowboy coaches, they sure had hoped that the Eagles would come out just throwing it today. McNabb throws low for Westbrook. And you can you see some of the wrappers and debris flying around this field. It looks like the wind has really picked up now over the last five minutes or so, and it's third and eight. Yeah, that's always the big factor for quarterbacks throwing the football. You and I were down on the field earlier, and it was blowing pretty good at that time. Certainly nothing like what they got in Buffalo earlier today, but still, it's a factor. And you can deal with snow, you can deal with rain, but when you're trying to throw the ball with, with the wind or even against the wind, the ball does some funny things that you can't control. Third down and eight. Five-man rush. McNabb steps up, gets away, and will slide down short of first down yardage. A three-yard run by McNabb, and now the field goal unit, David Akers, will trot on for Philadelphia. Well, I would say overall, I think Dallas has got to be pleased that you know all they're giving up here potentially is three points. They open up the game, they kick the ball out of bounds, give the ball to the Eagles on the 40-yard line, don't give up any points then. And then with good field position again, the Eagles not really to capitalize with more than just a field goal attempt. 40-yard try by Akers. Who is now 31 of 34 in his career against the Cowboys. And for the season, a record 31st field goal made by Akers. 3-0, Eagles. Got like toolboxes. Ah. It's a ram box. That's pretty freaking cool. You know, you need that space. Put some fishing poles in there, shovels and hammers and stuff. Go, 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 go! Yeah! Ah! I can't believe they let us do that. Extra hotel night in New England. You're going down, Manny. That's right, I am. Free. Fourth floor. Get a massage today. I'm excited. Extra night in Cleveland. Don't choke on it. Free. Good call. I'll just cut it up and put it into a fruit salad or something. Thanks. Extra night in San Diego. Morning. Take a hike. Free. You know, I'm going to do that. Getting world-class rewards no matter who you are. Whether you're sweet. Priceless. Nice. Get a World MasterCard and get free hotel stays and more. Send a personalized sweet talk from Peyton at Priceless.com. Oh. How much are these? No, those aren't for sale. Oh, I'm sorry. My mom's a little crazy about her antiques. Antiques? They're rollover minutes. Yeah, from like six months ago. But they're still good. You know, saving minutes saves money. And these days, we can't afford to be wasteful. Not everyone gets to keep their unused minutes. Ooh, cool. Uh, 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 uh. Beat it, kid. Only AT&T's family talk with rollover saves your family's unused minutes. And saving minutes saves money. Now add a line for just $9.99. Now get 50% off all LG phones. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by KFC. It's a flavor blitz. KFC's honey barbecue wings have three layers of flavor. By the new AT&T, your world delivered. And by the all-new Dodge Ram, never back down from a challenge. Hello. Happy holidays. Eagles get the 40-yard field goal from David Akers. And you see at the bottom a team record 30 one field goals for Akers, who really struggled during the middle part of this season. He's picked it back up. Marty Morningweg and McNabb talk about that last possession and what they plan to do, and now Dallas will get it. They've run three offensive plays. And they'll start 
this possession at their own 20 as Pac-Man takes a knee. Second try at it for the Dallas offense, down by three. Hey, it's me. This is awkward. It's not working. I just need to be alone. I'm no good for anyone right now. Yellow Book will always help you find what you're really looking for. See what she finds at yellowbook.com slash TV. Yellow Book. You put your foot down and it just goes It's kind of saying Rrr. Rrr. The Hemi did it! I love it. It's awesome. Yeah! That Hemi hits hard. Man. Boom! Truck just kicked into gear. I completely forgot I was pulling a trailer. Man, those are amazing! It was a smooth ride. Fantastic. Go, 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 go! That's how we roll. Thank you for agreeing to take part in our product test. We'll be asking for your opinion today about two hamburgers that you will taste. We would like you to take several bites of each hamburger, enough to form an opinion. We asked these people who've never eaten a burger which they preferred, Whopper or Big Mac. Congratulations, McDonald's. You've won second. He's boldly gone where no man has gone before. When did that happen? This January, television's most difficult doctor is taking on a new night. Great. Now everyone knows. Story here, win, and you are in the playoffs as the number six seed. And now dealing with the elements. Wind blowing the football around as the Cowboys will start at their own 20 down by three. No sign of Marion Barber yet. It was dislocated, little toe on his right foot. Crowds in it. Tashar Choice gets it. Runs into Akeem Jordan and fights for three. Let's go for a quick game break. Here's Kirk. Here's how you got to your win and end situation. The Chicago Bears lost in Houston 31-24. Also, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers lost their fourth straight game to close the season. Oakland won 31-24. So with the Bucs loss and the Bears loss, that opened the door for the Eagles to waltz into the playoffs if they can beat the Cowboys. Cowboys also a win and end situation. You knew that already, Joe. We did, second and seven. Quick throw, T.O. And the former Eagle bounces off Sheldon Brown. And he's brought down a yard and a half shy of a first down. You know, it was a good job by Tony Romo recognizing that they did not put anybody out on Terrell Owens. And by that, I mean they didn't line up anybody right on him. Typically in the slot, you're going to see. And then he comes off, and it's Dawkins, and they hand it to him. But look at the look at the guys who pursue to get there. There's four green helmets right there surrounding Terrell Owens. And that's going to be the real key, and Jim Johnson knows that. I mean, when you talk about a guy who knows a receiver, Jim Johnson had an opportunity for two years to watch this guy in practice and then watch him on Sundays, and he knows what has to be done. Handoff is to Choice, and he has enough for a first down. I think it almost gets lost in what's gone on with this Dallas team because of the play of Tashar Choice, who's been very good since taking over, and now Flozell Adams is down. Very good since taking over from Marion Barber, but take to shard choice out of it that is one of the biggest weapons any team has in the NFL Marion Barber who's been virtually a non factor since Thanksgiving yeah, I think even like what you said Joe Ch to shard choice has done everything that they could have hoped that he would do over the last three games but Marion Barber just really brings the emotion to this offensive unit quick throw by Romo and he hits his tight end Martellus Bennett Brought down by Dawkins, a gain of six. We look at this defense, and a defense that is directed by Jim Johnson has been flying around. They've allowed an average of just over 11 points per game in the month of December. 
Very good on third down, and Jim Johnson loves to blitz, and so this offensive line for the Cowboys will be tested here tonight. Well, and his defense has just gotten better and better with each week, and they're an undersized group up front. And Dallas looks at it like, well, maybe our size will be to our advantage, but they didn't run the ball very well in week two against the Eagles either, and so far in this game they haven't run it very well either. And off is to choice, and he's short of a first down. Parker made the play a gain of three, and it will be fourth down and a little less than a yard. Rather, third down, I beg your pardon. And so now third down and one as Jaquay Parker made that play. So third and one, not fourth down, with 540 and counting left. And there is Jason Garrett, a highly paid offensive coordinator who has taken some hits here in 2008. Yeah, it's a little tough for the second time around. You know, last year he was everybody's darling, and, and this year it's been a little tougher, but I still think he's done a heck of a job. Joyce has a first down for Dallas as he picks up three. This offensive line for the Cowboys is missing Kyle Kozar, who played in only three games this year at left guard. Then Montre Holland, after Corey Proctor struggled, took over, had two starts, looked good, but now he's out with a foot and ankle problem. So Corey Proctor is back in there and making his 10th start overall, protecting Romo. Barber in the game. to T.O. Gets around Cole and Owens out of bounds at midfield. A run of seven yards for the former Philadelphia Eagle. And generally those types of plays don't work real well against the Philadelphia Eagle defense because they're so disciplined, they're so well coached that the players typically stay in their lanes and they do a great job of gap control and a great job of containment. But Trent Cole got a little aggressive and wanted to chase that one down from the backside, and that's what allowed T.O. then to get on the edge. Second and three. Toss to Barber running right. Gets a block, has a first down for Dallas. And the Cowboys are showing that they can run the ball against this Philadelphia defense which has been outstanding defending against the run the last four games. Yeah, you watch Quentin Michael here. Now this is a run blitz here. He's going to hit the gap. He's thinking run inside, downhill between the tackles, but instead the Cowboys run the toss. They're out to the weak side with Marion Barber. A good call against what the defense was trying to do and a nice game. The number six ranked run defense. First down, Dallas. Quick throw off the left hand of Creighton, and after the juggle, he can't hang on. That play was there as well, and Creighton and Romo couldn't hook up. Yeah, I think that whether you're talking about Terrell Owens or Patrick Creighton or Roy Williams, it doesn't matter. If you give those guys free access off the line, they're going to be able to get in the seams, and more times than not, Tony Romo is going to be able to put it on him. You know, we had a chance to visit with Jim Johnson, and you got to mix it up. But what he would really like to do in this game, both against Roy Williams as well as Terrell Owens, he would like to get physical with those two at the line of scrimmage. Tenth play of this drive. Defensively for Jim Johnson made the tackle. I'll tell you, this run defense is, has really been what has impressed me the most in watching them all season long. And it was a group that was good against the run last year as well. A few years ago, they struggled in that area. It, it had more to do with just not tackling very well. But they've been a hard team to run against all year, especially here over about the last six games. Third down and eight. Quick set up and throw, and Witten is left alone. Witten hops out of bounds with a Cowboy first down at the Philadelphia 24. A catch and run of 17 yards. You know, a nice design, a real simple design offensively. Every 
every team that runs football runs this play. And you're going to see Asante Samuel, he just jumps the slant. And because Brian Dawkins is coming on the blitz, he then turns Jason Witten loose in the flat. And I don't know if Brian Dawkins expected Jason Witten to be blocking, but it was certainly his man in coverage. Three third down conversions on this drive for Dallas. Roy Williams dropped it. And Asante Samuel was there for Philadelphia if he caught it. So second down and 10 and we look at some of the early game headlines Minnesota got the last second victory on a long well field goal they clinched the NFC North Carolina has a first round by the number two seed as they got a late field goal to win at New Orleans and Detroit it happened they lost to Green Bay in an 0 and 16 season. to the 15 yard line a yard shy of the first down third and one coming up you know what the Eagles are doing is they're just so committed to getting pressure on Tony Romo they're going to bring him right here that that is what allows Patrick Creighton then to get a free release off the line of scrimmage and once he gets the ball in his hands then you just got to make sure you make the tackle and Brian Dawkins does that but not until after there's a pretty nice gain on the play. Third down and one. They fake the handoff. Romo throws to Roy Williams. They ask him to get the first down and he can't. Joselio Hansen made the play for the Eagles. You know, Tony had some time in the pocket and I think Roy Williams was saying, don't throw it to me. There's a defender right on me, but the secondary did such a nice job of covering everyone else. You see Hanson there. He's right on Roy Williams waiting to see what Romo's going to do. That's a good job tackling a big guy in the open field. And so now Nick Folk will try from 37. Good snap, good hold, and the kick is perfect. Folk and Akers have traded field goals. It's 3-3 with 35 seconds left in the first in a windy Philadelphia. Hello, I'm a Mac. And I'm a PC. Isn't this fun, PC? I sure am glad we decided to take a break from our little disagreements and just do something fun together, you know? Um, yeah. Maybe I don't say this enough, but I'm really glad we're friends. Right. No, no right, of course. <laughs> right back at you there. All right, old buddy, let's see those lights. You know what? No, let's let's not. We don't we don't want to take away from this beautiful Come tree. Come on, you put in all that work. Turn them on. Let's see it. <sighs> okay. I'm sorry about that. Just sort of happened. Nobody's going to have a better price. Feels like to look. Don't say it, don't say it, don't Nobody say it. Nobody had a better price. You said it. Lowe's believes you'll get the best price around with our everyday low price guarantee. We'll take it. Find a better price on anything we sell and we'll match it plus take an additional 10% off. Maybe we should shop around. Trust me, just buy it. Lowe's, let's build something together. So get the best price around with our everyday low price guarantee. This New Year's, make a resolution to see the number one movie. What about that? Pretty sexy. Jim Carrey is a high-energy comic genius. What did he call me? <laughs> yes, man. We did PG-13, now playing. See, honey, it even has a knob that goes from light to dark. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Your turn. <laughs> Hope it's better than last year's. <laughs> Ow! Ooh, mama! You okay? Mm. Let me see, let me see. This holiday season, give them what they bleed for. Huh. Authentic NFL products. Redeem your gift cards now at NFLshop.com. <laughs> Certainly an impressive drive put together by Dallas. Over eight minutes off the clock. And then Folk was good from 37. It's a 3-3 game. First kickoff from number six went out of bounds. This one hangs high. And Demps bobbled it. And gives Philly.
Philadelphia decent starting field position out across their own 30 and now we welcome you inside our broadcast booth I'm Joe that's Troy and uh, I think the Cowboys just flexed a little muscle with their offensive line and proved that they could run the ball if they had to against the Eagles. Yeah because as we've talked about I mean this is not an easy team to try to move the football against I, I like what I'm seeing right now I mean it's early in this game certainly a lot of things that are going to happen still a lot of football left to be played but you know this is a playoff game and both of these teams realize that and so a little bit of a feeling out process a little bit like two boxers going at it right here and you know as they get a little bit more settled in and some of the anxiousness goes away. I think we'll start seeing some of the bigger plays that we're accustomed to seeing from these two teams. Inside handoff to Westbrook, and Ryan picks up two and a half. Westbrook at Dallas on the 15th of September had the three touchdowns and was certainly left wondering why he didn't get a chance to run the ball more last week in that 10-3 loss at Washington. The music started and stopped, but now it's there for good. We're through one. Back after this from your local Fox station. What if you could give your family just what they want this holiday for one low price? Introducing Sprint Family Plans. You'll get unlimited nationwide text, video, picture messaging, and more. And save at least $240 a year over comparable AT&T and Verizon plans. What better way to bring the family together? America's largest, most dependable 3G network. Come to a Sprint store and find out how much you can save. When are you people going to stop thinking everyone else is following your rules? They're not. The rules are what make us better. Not today. 24. The new season begins two weeks from tonight on Fox. You are watching the NFL on Fox. Hi, we're here for Sign and Drive. Hi. I just leased a Passat for no money down. She wants one too. Or a Jetta. A Passat. A Jetta. A Passat. A Jetta. A Passat. Our new computer can match you to the perfect Volkswagen. Then you drive it away. Signature reveals a need for safety and individuality. Perfect match. A Passat. Jetta. This event is getting very interesting. Sign Then Drive is back. For a limited time, we select 2009 models for zero down, zero due at signing, and no first month's payment. It's what the people want. get a free $20 bonus card when you buy $100 in holiday gift cards at any Outback or Outback.com. The biggest event of the year just got bigger. The Toyotathon of Toyotathons is here, and you can get the deal of all deals on a new Toyota. With savings so good, it's easy to see why Toyota has the best overall value of any brand. Get $500 cash back on a new 2009 Tacoma, or get 0% APR. Or get a new 2008 Tundra with $3,000 cash back, or 0% APR. Don't miss out. Hurry to the Toyotathon of Toyotathons today. One of the real good guys from Major League Baseball is in attendance here from the world champion Philadelphia Phillies, Jimmy Rollins. Shortstop and leadoff hitter and the catalyst for that offense under Charlie Manuel. So they'll get their rings at the start of 2009. Will the Eagles get to the postseason? And if they do, how far will they go? It's second and seven in a 3 3 game. A fake on the handoff and the pass down the sideline overthrown is Greg Lewis third and eight so you're right now the Eagles are doing a good job up front in terms of giving Donovan McNabb some time to throw you know, I think you go back to last week's game and that that loss to the Washington Redskins clearly they were disappointed that they were unable to score a touchdown in that game but looking at it you know the receivers were they just did not do a real good job of creating a lot of separation and a lot of the plays that they've been able to make have been when Donovan McNabb has been able to get outside the pocket and then allow those receivers to freelance a little bit. McNabb steps up, slides along the line and finds a receiver for a first down and more. That's Buckhalter. Corral 
Buckhalter is down inside the 10.
Chicago Bears game in particular Brian Westbrook was not available he was in the backfield here and fans were wondering well you've got a big quarterback Donovan McNabb let him pound it in against the Cowboys here in a game they need to win to get into the playoffs it's McNabb who carries it for his second touchdown of the year. I think when you've got a quarterback like Donovan a big physical guy I, I always think that that's the best approach and it's the quickest way to cross the goal line. 10-3 Philadelphia. McNabb gets his 26th career rushing touchdown after the 59-yard catch and run by Buckhalter. First touchdown, it belongs to the Eagles. This football season, get ready for the Blitz. Marley, no! Ah! Illegal procedure. You are the world's worst dog. Yep. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Marley and me, rated PG. That's good. Drinkability, my friend. Drinkability means Bud Light won't fill you up. So you got plenty of room for your favorite festival cuisine, you know, like funnel cakes, turkey legs, my personal favorite, baba ganoush. What's baba ganoush? No idea, but it sounds cool. Dude, draw your own food. Never filling, always refreshing. Bud Light. The difference is drinkability. This weighs a ton. This Cobalt XFE gets an EPA estimated 37 miles to the gallon highway. This Aura offers 33. This G6, 33. In fact, all 19 of these offer 30 miles per gallon or better. And they're all made by GM. Surprised? Here's something else amazing. At the GM Red Tag event, the price on the tag is the price you pay. See some red, save some green. Find your Red Tag price at gm.com slash red tag. Most of us take health care for our kids totally for granted. But for others, providing medical care for their children is a constant crisis. As many as 20 million American kids are not getting the medical care they urgently need. That's where the Children's Health Fund comes in, bringing in fully staffed and equipped mobile clinics to kids across the country every day. Fox Sports asks you to join our team in supporting the Children's Health Fund. Together, we can turn a health crisis into health care. Please, Please go, go to, to childrenshealthfund.org. Coming off 
the edge. Just really able to run right by him. If there's one thing that Flo Zell Adams struggles with, it's a speed rusher. If he's able to get his hands on you, typically he's pretty successful. But Trent Cole's not that type of pass rusher. He uses speed, which could present a problem throughout this game. down and 11 Romo throws as he backs up and the pass incomplete Terrell Owens and Quentin Michael both were fighting for it and eventually it fell to the ground pressure by Clemens in the face of Tony Romo there's no doubt that Jim Johnson is going with what he talked about we want to get pressure on Tony Romo if we can do that there's going to be balls that are thrown up and that was another throw that Tony has got to be careful with. Well, you think back to big games, and as I said a little earlier, generally it's who makes the fewest bad plays that goes on to win those types of games. Pulaski just got it away, and Deshaun Jackson watches it head out of bounds. So the Eagles get the touchdown, and then the defense does its thing. A lot of pressure in the face of Tony Romo, and a quick three and out by Dallas. In the world's purest taste test, these people preferred the Whopper to the Big Mac. To thank our Whopper virgins, we took our broiler to Greenland and shared their favorite burger with more of their countrymen. Turns out most of them liked the Whopper too. How does that compare to Seal? But you can't win them all. Hey, Mr. Sunlight, gone outshine your bright. It's just the beginning of a happy go fun day. Happy go fun day. And I'm feeling kind of Sunday. Sunday. Feeling kind of Sunday. Sunday. Feeling kind of Sunday. I'm so there. When you're there, State Farm's there for the best day of the week. This football season, get ready for the Blitz. Molly, no! Ah! Illegal procedure. You are the world's worst dog. Yeah. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Molly! Marley and me, rated PG. Zombie! When all you want is behind the scenes inside access to the NFL. One, two, three, three. When all you want is inside expert analysis on game day. I played solid I said the same thing last week. When all you want is a replay of the best playoff matchups. Where is everybody? You missed on Sunday. When all you want is football. Watch NFL Network. Eagles have been going with playoff beards. A lot of them up until their loss last week against the Redskins. Yeah, and we all kind of thought that they would shave them, but I'm not surprised to see that at least Andy Reid has not. I think that had they have shaved them, it would have been admitting that, that their season was over, but they were still holding out hope, and the Beards worked for them this week. It's a rugged look that Andy Reid <laughs> is striving for. Here's Westbrook bouncing it. And Brian Westbrook picks up nine and a half. Brian Westbrook has been banged up throughout the year. Last year or last week going into that game, you know, everybody was saying that he was as healthy as he had been all season long. And then he got banged up pretty good in that game as well. But he's been effective running the football here early. Westbrook's had rib injury and ankle injury. A little gimpy getting off the field there. It's second and one. Is to Eckel and he goes backward. They're going to give Eckel forward progress, if you want to call it that, to the 31, a loss of one. It'll be third and short coming up. And Kyle Eckel, he's been pretty successful when he's been given the opportunities that he's had to pick those types of yards up for first downs. Once he came into the game, I'm sure the Cowboys recognized that, well, they're going to give it to Eckel and try to run it up inside. And they did a good job shutting it down. It's third down and two. Out of the 
shotgun. Pressure on McNabb, and down he goes. It's Brady James. So upset that he was not named a pro bowler prior to last weekend, and he comes up with a big sack for this Dallas defense. And we've been seeing Brady James come more often here over the last half of the season, and he's been real effective. Anytime they have him in a position where they think that they can get an advantage on bringing him with the blitz, then he comes. And he's been able to get home here a lot. You know, a disappointing possession there for the Eagles. They have not had much success now on third and really short yardage situations. Ugly punt by Rocca. And it will take an Eagles roll down just inside the 38. They'll mark it at the 38. The sack by Brady James. Brian Stewart is his defensive coordinator. Thrilled with the effort. Dallas has it down by seven. It received a 2009 Best Resale Value Award from Kelly Blue Books, KBB.com, and it was awarded a top safety pick by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. The Cadillac CTS, made by GM. Surprised? Here's something else amazing. At the first ever Cadillac Red Tag event, the price on the tag is the price you pay. Like a 2009 CTS for under $36,500. That's a total value of over $4,400. Visit your local Cadillac dealer. You know why I love Walmart? Because they know that some of the coolest things come in the smallest packages. My little guy loves getting Walmart gift cards. And at Walmart's prices, it's easier to trade that gift card for a lot more fun. You know, going into Walmart with a gift card? Well, that's like Christmas morning all over again. With unbeatable prices across the store, including the latest electronics, a Walmart gift card gets you more. Save money. Live better. Walmart. Want to get away? Announcing Southwest Airlines' big year-end sale. Book now and fly Southwest from $49 to $109 to many of our destinations like Denver, Los Angeles, Phoenix, San Diego, Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, and more. This sale ends soon, so book now at southwest.com. Low fares, no hidden fees. Once a year, I really like you. America comes together for one event. Is the next American Idol among us today? Well, that man may get his wish. The right combination happened early, and now. If you're just joining us, you've basically tuned into a playoff game. The winner moves on. The losing team goes home. Fourth possession for the Cowboys down seven. Blitz from the Eagles. Handoff is to Choice, and Choice loses two. First guy there was Bunkley, and we look at the early game headliners and the fans here in Philadelphia should send something nice just get together and send something nice to Michael Bush for the job he did running the ball for the Raiders in their win at Tampa Bay D'Angelo Williams has had a phenomenal season and Michael Turner has as well running the ball for the Atlanta Falcons pretty amazing and uh, you're right I mean Oakland to go into that game and to be able to, to knock out the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in a must win game for them pretty impressive by that Raider club. Second down and 12, and a handoff to Choice, running right. Picked up a yard, Darren Howard made the play for this Eagles defense. The numbers are stunning when you look at the history for Jim Johnson, the defensive coordinator of the Eagles, and what he's been able to do against the Dallas Cowboys, the first meeting compared to the second. Trying to do it again here and turn in his usual good effort by this Philly defense and help the Eagles get into the postseason. Third and 11. Another blitz. Romo steps up and throws high for Roy Williams. Another three and out in the third and four position.
possessions for this Dallas offense. Well defensively the Eagles are just so good on first down and so what generally happens is teams are faced with third and long and as we talk about every time we cover the Eagles that's when Jim Johnson you know that's when he gets real creative and brings a lot of different looks brings a lot of pressures he brings the pressure again there as he has throughout this first half and good coverage on the back end by Asante Samuel. Paul Askew punts it. Deshaun Jackson just shy of the 30. So Terrell Owens is starting to get a little chatty over on the sideline as the Eagles have it now up by seven. Every tailgate you stock up for. Every channel you order. Every hat, jersey, and jacket you collect. Visa purchases between now and December 31st give you a chance to win trips to Super Bowl 43, the 2009 NFL Pro Bowl, and a 2009 NFL playoff game. Visa. For game day, it's the way to go. Introducing Braun Series 7. The world's first shaver with Pulsonic technology. Over 10,000 micropulses per minute give you incredibly smooth skin. The Series 7, one of Braun's perfectly smooth gifts. What are you, nug nuts? McDonald's tender, juicy, made with white meat chicken McNuggets. Dip them, stack them, pop them, love them. You nug nut, you. Everything you love in life in a bold new way. Introducing Blackberry Bold, as beautiful as it is powerful. Starts with mini camps, and you go to training camp, and you sweat during the summer, and you play an entire regular season, and now it comes down to one game to get into the playoffs and have a chance to get to the Super Bowl. That's what's on the line here between the Eagles and the Cowboys. Philadelphia up by seven and they will start at their own 29. See Quentin Michael, the free safety. He's going to come on the blitz, so that means everybody's locked up one on one. And the last thing that a corner then can have happen is for a receiver to run by him. You're going to see the top of that route. Asante Samuel jumps the route because he saw Roy Williams chop his feet and run a very poor route. And I know that Roy Williams has talked a lot this week about not being more involved. He's got to run better routes than that if he's going to catch footballs in this league. Here is Westbrook. Westbrook over the right side picks up two. DeMarcus Ware on the tackle. DeMarcus Ware is chasing history here today. Big number 94. He has 20 sacks on the season. He is three sacks shy of a new NFL record. And a statistic that's been thought about and tabulated officially since 1982. You know, going into last week's game against Baltimore, he needed four, and, and I really thought he'd have a good shot at it going against a Baltimore team that you, know, you thought that he'd be able to get pressure on. He got a sack early in that game, and then Baltimore made some adjustments and didn't have any more. Of course, as much as the Eagles like to throw the ball as well. Here's a pass on third down to Curtis. And a big completion in front of Pac-Man Jones of 15 yards and a first down for Philadelphia. Yeah, and I really like Kevin Curtis. And I thought that when he was out those first six games this year, that that hurt this team, and yet they were still able to be pretty productive. You know, he's one of those receivers that can can really do it all. He's got good speed. He's got great quickness. You see the push that he was able to get on Pac-Man Jones and then come out of the route. A 15-yard completion on third down for the Eagles, and a handoff is to Westbrook. The 
pushes the pile to midfield. There are a lot of teams that we talk to, and in particular, offensive coordinators and people involved with different offenses around the league. They respect the athletic ability of Pac-Man Jones, but do not necessarily respect what he does as a cornerback, and that was a big completion on third and eight for 15 yards in front of him to Kevin Curtis. I think he's such a gifted athlete that there's probably been a lot of coaches over the years reluctant to really coach him up. But I think once he gets better fundamentally, then I think there's some real upside with him. Second and six, pass complete to Deshaun Jackson, who had four drops in that frustrating Philadelphia loss last week against the Redskins. That was good for 12. Yeah, and I like his attitude this past week, and, and he was disappointed, he was frustrated, he didn't get the ball earlier in that game, and then obviously he had those drops, but by all indications, he was able to put that behind him and come out and have a pretty good week. He was looking forward to coming back out into this ball game and redeeming himself, if you will. And right now, Philadelphia, I tell you, this is as balanced as I've seen them. And they're doing a good job keeping Dallas on their heels. And now the team rookie record for receiving yardage for Deshaun Jackson. As McNabb goes down the middle and incomplete for Avant. Looking for a flag and he won't get it. This, by the way, is the fourth time in five possessions that the Eagles are inside Dallas territory in another look. You can see right there that, you know, Orlando Skandrick has done a good job. First year player, fifth round pick for them out of Boise State and has been called upon to play a lot this year because of some of the injuries that they had in the secondary. But just not much separation there by, by Jason Avon. I know he was looking for the call. I thought it was pretty good coverage. And off to Westbrook. Not much there. Zach Thomas and Canty combined to make the stop. Hard to believe that in a game with this much on the line, the only flag that's been thrown here in the first half came on the opening kickoff that went out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, and uh, especially surprising with regards to Dallas since they lead the NFL in penalties. Been flagged 115 times to lead the NFL, and now it's third down and nine. Westbrook at the bottom of the screen. McNabb to his right. What a pass. First and goal, Deshaun Jackson. What a throw from Donovan McNabb. Well, really good job by Andy Reid and Marty Morningwig, offensive coordinator, splitting Brian Westbrook out. And what that then did was it forced them to go into single coverage on the outside, and Donovan McNabb recognizes that. And you've got Deshaun Jackson, the rookie, working against the best corner right now for the Dallas Cowboys and Terrence Newman, and he runs right by him. Of course, it took a perfect throw, as you said, Joe, by Donovan McNabb to get the completion. 34-yard completion to Deshaun Jackson. And now Westbrook forces his way forward for a yard. Let's go back to that throw. That's about as good as it gets from number five. Well, it sure is, and, and he's had a number of these throughout his career, and he throws this ball very well. The, the Eagles run a lot of these vertical routes, and that's perfect. You want to lay it to the outside. The receiver's got outside positioning. Just a great executed play there by the rookie and Donovan. And two big third and long completions by McNabb and this Eagles offense on this drive. Second and goal. Westbrook tries the right side, nowhere to go. DeMarcus Ware was back there to make the play a loss of two, and now it's third and goal. You know, it really is surprising to me the number of problems that Philadelphia has had down here in the red zone. We talked about it when they got down here before and got the touchdown with Donovan, but even last year they were not very good in the red zone, and that was a priority for them this past offseason that they knew they needed to get back. They thought that they had some key guys with some size, Hank Basket, Jason Avant, that could make some plays, even Reggie Brown, but it just hasn't really happened for them. What will it be on third and goal? Westbrook again at the bottom of your screen. McNabb underneath, Buckhalter. Touchdown.
14 to 3 Philadelphia. Anytime you see a coach and a linebacker looking at each other like that, you know that that means one thing, confusion. And the Eagles have figured out the red zone problems in this game. Good job getting Buckhalter just out in the flat, a real simple play. And yet the Cowboys were unable to defense it. They split Westbrook out wide. They got Buckhalter in the game as well. Pretty easy stuff. Two minutes, three seconds left in a first half that, for the most part, has been dominated by the Philadelphia Eagles on both sides of the ball. You can tell right then, Kevin Burnett and, and Wade Phillips discussing what exactly happened. And you know, you're right, Joe. I mean, when you get into a game like this, and, and touchdowns when you get down in there are so critically important. And the Eagles have been able to come away with those seven points the two times they've been down there. Jeffrey Lurie's got his playoff scruff going too. <laughs> Extends all the way up into the owner's suite. There might be 66,000 sporting beards next week. <laughs> the Eagles trying to seize an opportunity. An opportunity that came their way because of the Chicago loss to the Texans and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers home loss to the Oakland Raiders. And now leading their divisional rival, the Dallas Cowboys, by 14 points. Pac-Man Jones on the return. Needs a big one for Dallas. And he's out across the 35. A lot of celebrating so far here in Philadelphia. A minute 54 remaining in this first half. And even a smile from Andy Reid, up 14. Beep! Happy holidays! Howard's phone. Howard doesn't have AT&T, which means no bars way out here. So he never got the call from his friend telling him to thaw the turkey before he deep fries it. Otherwise, it could, you know, explode. Yeah, we missed that call. I'm missing some beard. Switch to the network with the best coverage, AT&T. More bars in more places. Now get 50% off all LG phones. That's one latte. Keep the change. Whoa. You can use that change to get double the beef for only 89 cents. Double the beef? You really just pushed a button. Change the way you see change. Taco Bell's cheesy double beef burrito. A double portion of seasoned ground beef smothered in melty nacho cheese sauce. It's double the beef for only 89 cents. Can I get some change, please? Why pay more?
slow getting out to cover him with Ken Hamlin. But look at the confusion right in here as far as who's got who. And what ultimately happens then is Anthony Henry is then on Carell Buckhalter, and it should have been Burnett, the linebacker, is what it looked like to me. And so the confusion, and it shouldn't have confused them. It's a set that they run very often, and they oftentimes split Brian Westbrook out wide. Romo throws underneath to his favorite target, Witten, who bad knee and all fights his way for a Dallas first down. What an effort by Jason Witten. Well, great effort by Jason Witten, and I'll tell you, a good job there by Philadelphia because Jason was trying to get out of bounds to stop the clock, and Akeem Jordan, he gets him, he holds him up, and then Quentin Michael pulls him back into the field of play, so the clock keeps running. Dallas has all three of their timeouts remaining as this pass is to Terrell Owens, who will hop out of bounds. Let's go down to the field and Pam Oliver. Well, Joe, you just talked about Jason Witten. We know how tough he is, but we're seeing just how tough he is. His ankle is not only sprained. Witten told me before the game that he has a slight ligament tear in that ankle. He blew it off as nothing serious. He doesn't expect to have any type of surgery after the season. But so far, you know, he's a warrior, and he's playing like one. He is definitely on that list of the tough guys in this league. Well, the guy does it all. He's a coach's dream is what he is. Second and five for Dallas, down by 14. This one to the sideline. Williams wasn't looking for it. Sheldon Brown with the interception. And Romo and Roy Williams were not on the same page. There is a flag down in the middle of the field. Holding offense, number 71, penalty is defined, first down. You know, Joe, I'm not sure what the route was, and I'm not real sure what the throw was. Nothing looked good. You're going to see Roy Williams on the outside, and he wasn't expecting the ball, obviously, but Romo was very indecisive, it looked to me, when he made the throw. I mean, he wants to go there, but it looked like he just wasn't real sure exactly what he was seeing or what Roy Williams was going to do, and therefore the ball was underthrown. And it's been a long time, been a long time since Sheldon Brown has been able to get an interception. His first in the last 20 games. The starting right corner for the Eagles, and that interception stops that drive by the Cowboys. And now an opportunity for the Eagles to add to their lead. They have two timeouts remaining. And this pass is off the hands of Deshaun Jackson. Incomplete. So a drop by Jackson coming up on the Visa Halftime Report. Kurt, Terry, Howie, Michael, and Jimmy will have scores and highlights from around the league. And the Fox Sports ticker will keep you updated with up-to-the-second stats. Tony Romo cannot get away from his 0-2 record in the playoffs. Cannot get away from his 5-7 record in December. More interceptions than touchdowns. And so far, one interception, no touchdowns in this game. And on second and 10, a run of one yard by Westbrook. And now 55 seconds remain, and a timeout is taken. Philadelphia takes it. This January, Fox once again brings you the greatest week in college football, beginning on New Year's Day with the FedEx Orange Bowl, the AT&T Cotton Bowl, the All-State Sugar Bowl, the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl, and finally the FedEx BCS National Championship game. The FedEx Bowl Bash begins Thursday right here on Fox in high definition. You now you think about it, Joe, and Tony Romo now has gone to Roy Williams twice, one on a not very good, not a well-run route on the square end, that Romo overthrew, and then he goes to him on that play, and you know it didn't look like Roy Williams was doing anything where he expected the ball on that one. And I'm gonna tell you, as a quarterback, I'd be real reluctant to go back to Roy Williams in this second half. And so far, the trade that brought Roy Williams to the Dallas Cowboys has been a bust. Well, I don't, at least for this year. You know, I mean, it, it's gonna have to get a lot better in 09. Third down and nine, and McNabb throws and completes. Another big third down completion is Reggie Brown, and then he gets thrown down out of bounds. And the flag is for what happened after the play was over. Adam Pacman Jones threw him to the ground. Personal foul, late hit out of bounds, number 21, half the distance to the goal, first down. And I think these are the 
are the types of plays that you worry about, Joe. They're in man coverage right now. You got Reggie Brown, who, who is out of bounds, and Pac-Man tries to you know, get rid of some frustration by just throwing him on the ground after he's out. You know, and players that make dumb plays over and over or do dumb things, at the end of the day, they're gonna hurt, they're gonna hurt your team in critical times. And that was one time there that certainly has hurt this defense. It sets up a first and 10 from the 14-yard line. And the Eagles now have had four conversions of third and seven or longer. McNabb with all day. It's Buckhalter. He stays on his feet somehow. Play is alive, and Buckhalter gets it back to the 18-yard line. Still lost yardage on the play. A four-yard loss, and now a player is slow to get up. That's Buckhalter. He pops up, and Philadelphia will spend their final timeout with 31 seconds left. Roy Williams now, and the two routes that Troy was talking about, this is the earlier one. Yeah, you're going to see, and Asante Samuel, remember, he cannot let Roy Williams run by him deep. And you see the route as how that is rounded off as he's running the square in. And when you do that, it opens the door really for the corner to jump it, which is what Samuel did. Now there's the interception. I don't know what happened there. But Roy Williams was not expecting the ball. And I, I don't maybe he was running the right route. I'm not even sure. But if he was, you would certainly expect there to be a lot more urgency in that situation. And Tony Romo clearly had no idea what it was he was doing. And I'm not so sure that I'm not, a, I'm not excusing Tony Romo either. I don't know that it's a ball that he should have let loose. So now Roy Williams is explaining himself on the sideline. Ray Sherman, the wide receivers coach, at second and 14. Westbrook at the bottom of your screen. Over the middle, he gets it. Right in front of the umpire. Gets away from Skandrick. And on second and 14, picks up five. 23 seconds remain, and again, the Eagles are out of timeouts. So now third down and nine. And Andy Reid has had his team ready for this game. The Dallas Cowboys do not look ready for this battle in Philadelphia. take a timeout. 23 seconds left. And it'll be third down and nine when play resumes. This has been, I would say, first of all, for the Eagles, they've dominated this first half of play. And for the Dallas Cowboys, they've looked confused at times, and they have been rolled over here by the Eagles. Yeah, and I thought the Eagles, even if they didn't have a chance of getting into the playoffs, I really felt that they were going to come into this ball game and play very, very well. Now, clearly, a lot on the line. I, I think if you look at Dallas, you know, two acquisitions that they made that were going to make them a better team, whether that's Roy Williams or whether that's Pac-Man Jones, and here in this first half, both those players with, with key, you know, errors that have hurt their football team dramatically. And you think about Roy Williams, who was picked up in early October, has the same number of catches as Patrick Creighton and fewer yards. McNabb on third and nine in trouble, throws, and the pass is going to be a flag thrown as Terrence Newman never got his head around. Deshaun Jackson, the intended receiver, and that'll be pass interference against Terrence Newman. Yeah, and I think it's a good call. I mean, it's surprising. Terrence Newman, one of the better players. Interference, defense, number 41. Foul occurred in the end zone. Ball will be placed on the one-yard line. You see First that down. he never turns and really looks for the ball. He shields Deshaun Jackson, and then you see that Donovan McNabb sees that Newman's not looking and throws it knowing that at worst, it's probably going to be an incompletion. A good job by Deshaun One. It's a good job by Donovan McNabb giving him an opportunity. But Deshaun Jackson staying alive and trying to make a play on it and not showing that the ball was coming until right before it arrived. So now what do you do? You have first and goal from the one. You have no timeouts remaining if you're Philadelphia. They fake the handoff throw. Touchdown, Selleck.
touchdown of the year for Brent Selleck. And the Eagles are three for three inside the red zone after coming in two for their last 12. And Jerry Jones doesn't know what hit him. And neither does Tony Romo or anyone else on that Cowboys sideline. They come down here, play fake it, and they get Selleck into the corner and, and just real simple. I mean, difficult to defend when you've got the run pass, which is what the Eagles have going here in this first half. But boy, they made that look easy. And they got some help. They got the help on the interception, clearly, that set this drive up. The 15-yard unsportsmanlike penalty on Pac-Man Jones, and then the pass interference on Terrence Newman. And for Donovan McNabb, two touchdown passes, a touchdown run, all in this second quarter for a guy with articles written today and a lot of conversation about this could very well be his last game as a Philadelphia Eagle. If it is, he certainly put together a heck of a first half, and he has made a pretty strong case for what he said during the week that he'd like to get a new deal done here with the Eagles, which in some regard is taken as he wants to get this situation brought to a head and either move on or get locked in here with the Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles. Yeah, and, and one is because he'd like a big signing bonus, and I understand that part of it, but then two, you know, I get it. He's tired of being asked for the last two years now, hey, are you going to come back? You know, what's going to happen? A new deal would eliminate all that conversation. Squib kick by Akers. out Mazda 3 that gets 32 mpg and has more interior room and standard horsepower than Civic or Corolla. With Mazdanomics, you cash in big. 
hurry in to lease the Mazda 3i Sport for $159 a month for 36 months with $27.54 due at lease signing. It's a special time of year. <laughs> time to give the ones you love the power to own the road. Yeah. Celebrate the season of Audi with over 130 channels of Sirius Satellite Radio. And enjoy no payments at signing on select Audi models now through January 2nd. Powerball, always a big jackpot. In fact, the jackpot is now $80 million. The Visa Halftime Report, sponsored by Visa. No matter how you prepare for game day, Visa is the way to go. Welcome to the Visa Halftime Report. Kurt Benefee along with Terry, Howie, Michael, and Jimmy. All eyes on Dallas and Philadelphia. If you're a Cowboy fan, you might want to close it. All right, Terrell Owens coming out and followed by Brian Dawkins, Eagles. Hey, win and you're in. A lot of pressure. Step up, avoid it. Use your athleticism. I hate that word, but I see him use it all the time. Then dump it off. That's what McNabb does as he finds Correll Buckhalter. 59-yard reception down at the six-yard line. Sets up a McNabb one-yard touchdown. 10-3 to three Eagles on top of the Cowboys. Man-to-man -man coverage. Take the outside guy, come inside. Force this guy, the linebacker, covering him be later. The safety touchdown to Buck Alder. 17-3. Then a beautiful play action at the goal line. Brent Selleck tied in wide open in the corner. It's 27-3. All Eagles over the Dallas Cowboys. It works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. All you can do is give your best. All right? Love you guys. Let's go score on three. One, two, three. Score. Score. All right, I'm going to give it my best. I love you too, baby. Looking right. Fire, look right. Now, check down. There it is. Check down. Lavernius Coles. 13-yard touchdown reception. Point after is Muff. Six to nothing. Jets on top of Miami. And then far picked by Philip Merling. Merling breaks the tackle. Takes it back. 25 yards for the touchdown. A touchdown pass for Favre. Two interceptions. 14-9. Miami on the road taking care of the New York Jets. And if everything stays the same, Miami wins the East. Baltimore up big would be the wild card. And New England, despite winning 11 games this year, would miss the playoffs. The Lions finish 0-16, first time that's happened in NFL history. The Cleveland Browns go the last six games of the season without an offensive touchdown. The Tennessee Titans got shut out in what was basically a preseason game with Indianapolis. The Redskins lead the 49ers in the third quarter. At halftime, it's Arizona and Seattle all tied. Earlier today, Oakland went into Tampa, knocked off the Bucks. Kansas City falls to Cincinnati, who won their last three games. Carolina wins the NFC South with a last-second victory. Atlanta goes to 11 wins on the season, one year after winning four. Minnesota takes the NFC North, and the Chicago Bears fall out of the playoff mix. But right now, Michael, the Dallas Cowboys, could they look any worse? Yeah, they, they look bad. There's only one team on the field that's playing like it means something, the Philadelphia Eagles. The Cowboys are playing as if they're lax today because they have no energy. They don't realize what's on the line. And, and that's, that's embarrassing at this point for this team with this much talent to not go to Philadelphia with everything on the line and play better than they're playing right but now. But it's, it's deja vu all over again in terms of how they play with a lack of a sense of urgency. And the second time around when they see the Dallas Cowboys, when they see the Philadelphia Eagles, they struggle offensively. Wade Phillips will coach them up. That's He'll what Terry said. Some of you get local news, Martin, other Martin, more Martin, highlights Martin. right after this. Win a fan's dream ticket in the 2008 Visa Inside Pass NFL Sweepstakes. Between now and December 31st, using your Visa enters you for a chance to win trips to Super Bowl 43, the 2009 NFL Pro Bowl, and a 2009 NFL Playoff game. Visa. No matter how you prepare for game day, Visa is the way to go. They come with a five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty roadside assistance, and one year of the safety and security of OnStar. Buick, Pontiac, GMC. All made by GM. Surprised? During the Red Tag event, get a 2008 Yukon Denali XL for $40,343. That's a total value of $12,732. Plus get the best coverage in America. Hurry, Red Tag event ends January 5th. Once a year. You made my 
one event brings America together. This is what we've all been waiting for. Don't miss a note of TV's biggest phenomenon. I thought you were fantastic. I think you've got something. American Idol. The new season begins Tuesday, January 13th on Fox. You know, I really loved being in that Super Bowl ad last year. Yeah, it'd be nice to do that again. Check it out. This time we'll tell my story. Huh? Like, you worked at a grocery store, I work at a convenience store. Come on. You played the oboe, I played the bassoon. You wore a bow tie, I wear a, like a long tie. Nah, I don't know if that's gonna work. Go to NFL.com slash Super Ad and vote for the news story you want to see in the NFL Super Bowl commercial. It's different. It's really not. Things are sure looking up for the Eagles. I'm John Atwater with some halftime headlines. The Liberian community is coming together today in a series of prayer services for the seven people killed in a southwest Philadelphia house fire. The blaze broke out Friday night in a three-story duplex after a kerosene heater exploded. The Aiden man shot in the arm on Christmas night inside a South Philadelphia movie theater is out of the hospital. Police say the suspect shot the man because he thought his family was being noisy. And gas prices continue to tumble. The national average for a gallon of regular is now $1.63. But we found some prices well below that in Cherry Hill today. It's a bargain at three at $1.38. David's here now, and it's warm out there. And it's very warm, John. We had 12 record highs today, 66 in Philly, 67 in the Northeast. Virtually everyone breaking a record or tying one except Wilmington and Millville. Georgetown, Delaware got up to 72. Turning colder by daybreak, we're down to 35, so we'll drop nearly 30 degrees by daybreak. Clearing skies, winds should diminish over the next couple of hours, even during the Eagles' second half. But the five-day forecast, 47 tomorrow, plenty of sunshine. Tuesday, 45 with high clouds. But then we turn sharply colder by Wednesday afternoon. That's New Year's Eve. Wind gusts 45 miles per hour, which could impact the fireworks display at Penn's Landing. We're down to 20 by New Year's morning and a high of 32 for the Mummers on New Year's Day. John? Okay, David, thank, thank you. Be sure to join us tonight for the Fox 29 News at 10 for the latest news, weather, and a complete wrap of the Eagles-Cowboys game. We'll see you then. It's 7 a.m. And you can wake up with news from New York or keep it local. On Good Day Philadelphia, we keep you up to date on what's going on here at home. From the latest news to the weather outside. Do not forget the gloves. Don't forget the scarf. Plus the best routes to avoid those traffic tires. Good Day Philadelphia, keeping it local all morning long. Florida collides with Oklahoma. The FedEx BCS National Championship, January 8th, only on Fox. Biggest investigative stories of the year with Jeff Cole, Monday at 10, Fox 29. The year end sellathon is on and the clock is ticking. Oh, now through the end of the year, you can get up to 6000 in cash allowance on 2008 models. Plus, get a no extra charge DVD on select Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge vehicles. And we have hundreds of financing options available. Or right now, get 0% financing for 72 months on select Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge vehicles. The Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge year end sellathon is on at your local dealer. So hurry in before 2008 is over. My life is crazy, I'm on the go I don't have time to stop and take it slow My motor's screaming, it needs a break Hey, double A here, and if you've been ignoring that little check engine light on your dashboard, it's time to bring your car into Amco now. For a limited time, we'll check it absolutely free. And if something is wrong, we'll fix it for less than the dealers and can even back it with a nationwide warranty. He's double A, MCO Yes, it's the holidays. And you know what that means. Eggnog, turtle doves, and of course the cherished tradition of getting a great deal on a new Hyundai sedan. With America's best warranty and great fuel economy to help make the season even more jolly. Right now, get 0% APR financing plus $1,000 bonus cash on a 2009 Hyundai Sonata. The year end sellathon is on and the clock is ticking. Oh, now through the end of the year, you can get up to 6,000 in cash allowance on 2008 models. Plus, get a no extra charge DVD on select Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge vehicles. And we have hundreds of financing options available. Or right now, get 0% financing for 72 months on select
select Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge vehicles. The Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge year-end sell-a-thon is on at your local dealer. So hurry in before 2008 is over. After Vikings practice, Adrian Peterson hung out with my friends and me. Are ready? I showed off my pump, pass, and kick skills, and I think he was impressed. Oh, pretty good. That's nice. We got pretty good arms, too. We had a great workout, and I didn't want the day to end. I'm Adrian Peterson, and I'm part of the NFL movement for an active generation. For great play ideas, visit NFLRush.com. Visa. No matter how you prepare for game day, Visa is the way to go. Domination! Snot bubbles! Crazy ass!
just short. Third and inches. Well, I do think that this is a critical possession for Dallas. If they're able to move the football and come away with any kind of points, I think then clearly they they view that as something very positive. If, if Philadelphia was able to make a key stop here on this possession, not necessarily on this play, and get the ball, and if they go down and get any kind of points after that, it would be extremely difficult for Dallas to claw their way back in. Third down in inches. Quick throw to Terrell Owens, incomplete. It skips into Terrell Owens. You know, they're faced with a decision right now, but I, I, I don't know that there really is a decision. You see Tony Romo initially looked like they were going to bring out the punt team, and, and here they come. And I, I just think that for the Cowboys, they have to go for it here on fourth down. But the punt team was sent onto the field, and I think the only person that sent him off the field was Romo. I think Wade Phillips was hoping to keep his punt team out there, and Romo <laughs> said, get off the field. And then Romo picks up the first down. I mean, who's running the show down there? Well, that's debatable. Let's go! Gun! But a first Let's down go, for Dallas, so Tony Romo just took it himself. Here's Romo. The punt team, they're kind of on the field. Now they're all on the field, and Tony Romo is telling them to get off. Wade Phillips had a look of confusion on his face, and then Romo just took the snap and plowed forward for a first down. And Romo keeps the play alive. Got away from Cole and now throws to Witten. He throws down the field for Owens. And Terrell Owens stays on his feet and is down inside the 15. What a play that was almost blown up at the beginning by Trent Cole. Well, everything looked legal, but you got Andy Reid out on the field right now trying to get an official's attention. And it looked like he may try to throw the red flag to get that challenge, but he's not reaching for it. Romo, that was a backward pass there. And they're able to get the ball down the field then to Terrell Owens. Everything looked like it was okay to me. Philadelphia just took a timeout maybe to get another look during the timeout at the play on replay as it is now a 42 yard play we'll return after the break. <sighs> Want to get away? Announcing Southwest Airlines big year end sale. Book now and fly Southwest from $49 to $109 to many of our destinations like Denver, Los Angeles, Phoenix, San Diego, Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, and more. This sale ends soon, so book now at Southwest.com. Low fares, no hidden fees. Can you believe that we can text, email, surf the internet, even update your Facebook status right from the palm of your hand? At Sprint, we want everyone to experience all of the incredible things a 3G phone can do on a big 3G network. The wireless revolution continues. Come join us. Introducing the Samsung Rant for $49.99. It's the fully loaded phone on America's largest, most dependable 3G network. Oh, uh, if only the holidays could last a little longer. Well, maybe they can. Because right now, you can get 0% APR financing on nine Hyundai models. It's the gift that keeps on giving. And it's the perfect gift for that special someone. Especially if that's, well, you. Right now, get 0% APR financing on nine Hyundai models. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Low fares, no hidden fees. By the Hyundai sales event. Tis the season to be smart with your money. By Sprint. Join the Now Network. And by Paul Blart Mall Cop, starring Kevin James in theaters January 16th. Flozell Adams with his 
ninth false Off start. Court. Offense, number 76. Five-yard penalty, first down. Let's go back to that play. The line of scrimmage is the blue line, and clearly it was a backward pass to Witten, and then down the field to Terrell Owens, who did a nice job to get the most out of it. Yeah, really good discipline there by Jason Witten, just staying back behind Tony Romo even after he got flushed out of the pocket. And then being able to deliver the ball down the field to Owens. First and 15. And the Cowboys just are not in sync from time to time. Romo's going one place and the receivers are going another. Yeah, and that time Tony Romo was signaling to Terrell Owens that he expected him to, to go into the flat or hook up and instead Owens just kept going to the end zone. Philadelphia Eagles sideline was calling for intentional grounding because there literally was no one around where that ball fell to the grass for Dallas. Second and 15. Blitz from the Eagles and knocked out of the hand by Dawkins, fumbled by Romo down the field. Clemens, a stiff arm and a touchdown. APR financing plus $1,000 bonus cash on a 2009 Hyundai Sonata. One of the factors impacting energy prices is growing global demand. And one way to put downward pressure on prices is to make more supply available. ExxonMobil has invented a breakthrough technology that we've just begun using here in the U.S. to access cleaner burning natural gas that's locked in very tight, hard rocks. We could produce enough gas from one U.S. source alone to heat 50 million homes for almost a decade. Shame, shame, and shame. The emotion looks the same whether you're a suburban housewife or a suicide bomber. Jones is 
has had a horrendous game is back at the 10. Let's go back to the touchdown and the return by Chris Clemens. Yeah, and watch Brian Dawkins and where he comes from. He comes from here. Now, there's not enough blockers to pick him up, and Tony Romo has to know this. Deshard Choice gets one, but because he's trying to buy time, Dawkins strips him. And then they get a good bounce to where it goes right up into Clemens' hands. But, you know, when you're down, I understand what Tony's trying to do. He's trying to make a play and get it down the field. But that was not on the offensive line. I think Brian Dawkins is going to be back next year. <laughs> it looks like they all will the way oh. they're playing right now. 31 unanswered points put up by the Eagles. Romo buys time, hits Patrick Creighton, who has a lot of room to run. Gets behind Bradley, the middle linebacker, and Akeem Jordan makes the play. 22-yard catch and run. Well, the NFC playoff picture is pretty crystal clear right now. You've got the four divisional leaders. Giants are the number one seed. The Carolina Panthers are the number two seed. Followed by the Vikings and Cardinals. The wild card teams at the moment. Atlanta has clinched a spot. And Philadelphia with a win here would leapfrog the Cowboys and be the number six seed as Terrell Owens makes the catch at the 40. Well, what you see right now and, and the right thing is Jim Johnson knows that the last thing they can do is give up a big play or give up easy points. So they're playing very, very soft, making Tony Romo come underneath, hit the easy passes. The Cowboys may collect a lot of yardage here in the second half offensively, but it's going to be because the Eagles are going to let them have some things uncontested. Second and three, and that's broken up by Quentin Michael as he got his right hand in front of Jason Witt. Tell you what a great find they have in him. Quentin Michael, the starter this year for the first time, and a lot of people thought that he was worthy of being voted into the Pro Bowl and probably will be next year, but a free agent and a guy who's been just outstanding. In fact, Jim Johnson said that he's probably been their defensive MVP. It's now third and three. We're not going to see any punts. Two downs to get three yards for Dallas. As Barber carries it, Jordan cannot bring him down before Barber picks up four and a Dallas first down. Marion Barber, who since he was hurt against Seattle on Thanksgiving, didn't play at Pittsburgh. Had eight carries, two yards against the Giants. Two carries, no yards last week against the Ravens. Looks a little better here in this one. That's out of the reach of Witten. Yeah, you talk about Marion Barber, and you just, you just wonder how his year would have been a little different if a guy like Felix Jones had stayed healthy. You know, Marion Barber, as most people know, was not the starter a year ago. That was Julius Jones, and then this year he's been carrying the bulk of the load, but that would not have been the case if Felix Jones, the rookie out of Arkansas, hadn't have been injured so early in the season. And I, I just think the wear and tear on Marion Barber has had a real impact on him. Saw that record for Dallas since 2008 in the regular season finale. Romo gets away from Parker and now will try and pick up a couple of extra yards as he got around to Santi Samuel. A uh, gain of eight and a half. The numbers for the Dallas Cowboys overall are not good in December and January since 1997. And for Tony Romo, since he took over as a starter, a sub-500 record, and has really struggled, whereas in the first three months of the season, he has been one of the best in the NFL. down the sideline for Owens. Good throw. Catch is made and it's inbounds. Good 
throw to get it to Terrell Owens 35 yards around Asante Samuel. Yeah they just ran Terrell Owens on a go route and he's able to get position there on a Sam on Asante Samuel and and a perfectly thrown ball by Romo. You know, this is one of the big plays they they know the Eagles do certainly that in order for the Cowboys they cannot just methodically drive the ball down the field they'll run out of time before they're able to put enough points on the board they need big chunks like they just got. A blitz Marion Barber loses the football. Jose Leo Hansen on the return. Only Romo can get close to him. It's another defensive touchdown. Dawkins stripped another. I think the party started a while ago, but if it didn't, it sure has now. And that party has been led by number 20. Brian Dawkins has forced two fumbles that have been turned into touchdowns. The last one by Joselio Hansen. something to warm your heart with comfort and joy like say a great deal on a shiny new Hyundai CUV with great fuel economy in the city and on the highway and of course America's best warranty to bring you even more comfort and joy right now get 0% APR financing plus up to $3,000 bonus cash on a 2008 Hyundai Santa Fe
375 horsepower Hyundai Genesis can go from 0 to 60 faster than a Porsche Boxster. Perhaps even more impressive is how fast it goes from 70 to 0, in case things get a little too exciting. Find out more at HyundaiGenesis.com. The distinctive taste of Bud Light can be described with just one word. Drinkability. Bud Light. The difference is drinkability. You know I really loved being in that Super Bowl ad last year. Yeah, it'd be nice to do that again. Check it out. This time we'll tell my story. Huh? Like, you worked at a grocery store, I work at a convenience store. Come on. You played the oboe, I played the bassoon. You wore a bow tie, I wear a, like a long tie. Nah, I don't know if that's gonna work. Go to NFL.com slash Super Ad and vote for the news story you want to see in the NFL Super Bowl commercial. It's different. It's really not. Still imploring the crowd to make noise. He's been doing that throughout the game. And I don't think he's going to take his foot off the gas either. Neither will Jim Johnson. You wouldn't expect as Roy Williams can't make the catch. Not only do the Dallas Cowboys lock Roy Williams into a long expensive deal but they gave up a lot to get him a first and a third round pick at the top of that trade to Detroit a lot to give up and you know you feel like you've seen enough of him when he was at Detroit to warrant giving up you know that much compensation and they haven't seen it pay any dividends here for the Cowboys almost in trouble again Clemens up his back knocks it out Trevor Laws on the fumble recovery act before I mean it's just Tony trying to make a play and then just not understanding that there's pressure behind him and Clemens being able to knock it out and it goes back to what we talked about early in this game Joe that you know the winner of this game was going to be who made the fewest bad plays and and <laughs> there's been a lot of them to choose from as far as Dallas is concerned. Chris Clemens was getting IV, an IV fluid packet, halftime in the locker room. Wasn't even out on the field for the start of the second half with a kickoff as a fumble return for a touchdown. And now this one for Reggie Brown is incomplete. Here's a game break. Here's Kerr Benefit. Jets and Dolphins in the Meadowlands and the former Jet. Chad Pennington hooking up with the former Cowboy Anthony Fasano to put Miami on top 21 to 14. If Miami gets the win, they win the AFC East and eliminate New England from the playoff. A Jets win, the Jets probably still don't make the playoffs because Baltimore is up by 20 on Jacksonville in third quarter. Got it, Joe? Which kind of plays into what's going on here with Dallas. As you watch Coral Buckhalter hit the hole hard. Brought down by Newman, a gain of nine. You've got a Miami team that has Bill Parcells calling the shots and Tony Sperano, who was the offensive line coach with the Dallas Cowboys, as head coach, doing a brilliant job. Yeah, and I think Dallas misses both of those guys. And, uh, you know, Bill Parcells, what he was able to do in the time that he was with Dallas, built this team into a contender. Tony Sperano, who had been the offensive coordinator prior to Jason Garrett taking over last year, but I think that they do miss a coach like Tony Sperano, and they, both Parcells and Sperano, have done a great job for that Miami organization. Terrell Buckhalter, Ken Hamlin makes a play off the edge. And Buckhalter is brought down short of first down yardage. And I think that's probably, Joe, what's got to be the most frustrating part for Jerry Jones in that you're talking about a Miami team that had won one game all of last year. Nobody expected anything from them. And then you've got a Cowboy team that most people were picking to go to the Super Bowl, and that was based on the fact that many, and I still think
don't think a lot of people still believe that this is the most talented football team in the NFL. But as we all know, talented teams don't always win championships. The team part of it could be questioned. There, no doubt there are a lot of talented individuals on this Dallas Cowboy Club. As Akers hits from 41. It has been a long day for Tony Romo, who can just hang his head down by 41. Do you guys want to try some of my natural pizza? Love multigrain. It has more of a flavor than normal pizza. The best pepperoni that I've ever had. They knew the pizza was natural. I'm <laughs> all about the multigrain. But they didn't know. Hi, guys. I didn't actually make this pizza. It was delivered by Pizza Hut. Get ready for a whole new way to eat pizza. A light multigrain crust, natural pepperoni, and all-natural sauce from vine-ripened tomatoes. The natural, starting at $9.99. Choose real taste. Pizza Hut. Now you're eating. Everything you love in life in a bold new way. Introducing Blackberry Bold. As beautiful as it is powerful. On DVD today. You've been activated. The best action. <gasps> the biggest thrills. Oh! Right in your home. Get Eagle Eye today on DVD and Blu-ray. Mr. Barrow, we have a national security matter that has gone critical. It's breaking point. Your government is about to pay a very steep price for interfering in our affairs. We need a man. Take a shot. Who doesn't have one? Take a shot! What do you want me to do? Do whatever it takes. The new season of 24 is about to begin. This is gonna hurt. 24, the two-night premiere, begins two weeks from tonight on Fox. Eagles have outscored Dallas 41 to nothing in the last 21 plus minutes. The offense for the Cowboys, even when they've been able to move the ball and have gotten the ball into the red zone of the Eagles, have turned it over twice and have led directly to two Eagle touchdowns. Defensive scores as Miles Austin returns the kick out to the 25. There's a story to be told down on that Dallas sideline. A lot of frustration. Tank Johnson is letting some of his frustration out with what has transpired here in this game. <laughs> well, there's been a lot of players for Dallas letting frustration out over the last several weeks. And I think that's part of the reason why they're not playing to the level that their talent would warrant. You know, I said a little bit earlier that the most talented team doesn't always win championships. More importantly, the most talented team isn't always a team. First down at their own 25. Eagles still coming after Romo, and the pass is caught by Witten, who gets crunched by Stuart Bradley, a gain of seven. Yeah, I think for Philadelphia right now, I mean, you look at this score, 41 point lead that. You know, I would expect them to maybe start resting some players because they have now, they now have that luxury knowing that they're going to be playing next week on the road to use this as somewhat of a buy, at least in the second half. But, you know, these players, they're having too much fun. I mean, these are the games you want to be a part of. Second and three, and now Terrell Owens with a drop right off his hands. And this crowd will love that. Yeah, they've been showering him with a lot of noise every time that he's anywhere near the ball and when it's being thrown to him and you know obviously a ball that should have been caught. They teach him young here in Philadelphia. down and three and this one's nearly picked off by Bradley as he stepped in front of Jason Witten 
And now on fourth down just to try and restore some order to this game. The Cowboys send the punt team on. Yeah, you know, they just they recognize that this is a losing battle and you know what's the point? You know, they can run up 60 points if they if they kept going for it on fourth down right now. And so then you ask the question, you know, how much how much longer is Dallas going to keep a guy like Tony Romo in the lineup? I mean, he's got a long offseason, a lot longer after this game ends than what he had, had anticipated. Valescu hits it. And Deshaun Jackson stays away. Rolls to a stop at the 21. This January, Fox once again brings you the greatest week in college football. Beginning on New Year's Day with the FedEx Orange Bowl, the AT&T Cotton Bowl, the All-State Sugar Bowl, the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl, and then finally the FedEx BCS National Championship game. And that matchup of OU in Florida. FedEx Bowl Bash begins Thursday right here in high depth. Next Sunday, we will have the NFC wildcard matchup. We're not sure of what that matchup will be, but at the moment, we don't know which one we're going to televise, but we do know that if Philadelphia wins, they're at Minnesota next weekend, and Atlanta's at Arizona. And off is to Buckhalter. I like, up two. I, I, I like that. So you're still saying if Philadelphia wins. Well, I don't know. I've been... I'm not the savvy old veteran, but I, <laughs> yeah, okay. I just refuse to fall into that trap. Although, just so you know, numbers-wise, if the Dallas Cowboys are able to come back in this game, and it'll be the greatest comeback it would and be win statistic ever, <laughs> ever. <laughs>
have to say that that Andy's going to try to put 50 points on the board and, and I would have to believe that even at that point that Donovan McNabb will be done because they're not going to go very far with either one of those guys not healthy. Second down and five and block alter. Brought down a little short of first down yardage by Greg Ellis. Now this is such a funny game sports in general. I mean we came in and you start thinking about the Philadelphia side and so much written about Andy Reid. Maybe he'll have enough at the end of this season and say goodbye or Donovan McNabb. Maybe that combination isn't going to continue past 2008. Andy's not waving goodbye yet. No, he <laughs> and then you've he's got the, signaling something into the offense. You've got Runyon and Trey Thomas, the two offensive tackles who are without deals past this year. Brian Dawkins. And yet how can the Eagles as an organization look at what's happened here today in their biggest game of the year with what they have done against their longtime divisional rival the Dallas Cowboys as anything but a vote of confidence for all of these players to continue on with the Eagles. Yeah but I what I you know with that in mind Joe I, and the Eagles have done a good job of that over the years and it's why they've been as consistent as what they have been. They they can't make emotional decisions or they can't allow emotion to come into these decisions that they're about to make. And you know I do think that some of the players you mentioned should be back will be back. But I think there's going to be some hard decisions to make on some of these players. And but I'm, I'm confident in this organization in making the right ones. They've always been very good at not making the emotional decision. What a day for the Eagles and Andy Reid. We go to the fourth. All Philadelphia back after this from your local Fox station. Investigative Stories of the Year with Jeff Cole, Monday at 10, Fox 29. It's the season for giving, so why not give the very best? Like the exhilarating Infinity G Sedan, or the bold Infinity FX. They're gifts you can enjoy every day of the year. Visit the Infinity Limited Engagement Winter Event now to take advantage of our best offers of the year. Lease an Infinity G Sedan for $349 per month or get 0% APR financing. <laughs> That's the money you could be saving with GEICO. could save you 15% or more on car insurance. It received a 2009 Best Resale Value Award from Kelly Blue Books, KBB.com, and it was awarded a top safety pick by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. The Cadillac CTS, made by GM. Surprised? Here's something else amazing. At the first ever Cadillac Red Tag event, the price on the tag is the price you pay, providing incredible values like this. Visit your Tri-State Philadelphia Cadillac dealer. It's fourth down and two for Philadelphia and a 40-yard try now from Akers, who is three for three and has only missed three field goals in his career against Dallas. And this one is wide left. So it remains 44 to 3. So Akers 3 out of 4 on the day, and there have been a couple of turnovers in this game. The first half interception by Sheldon Brown. The fumble by Pac Man Jones. Stripped away from Tony Romo by Dawkins, returned for a touchdown by Clemens. Another forced fumble by Dawkins. Hanson got the touchdown, then Clemens got the last forced fumble on a sack of Tony Romo, and there have been five Philadelphia takeaways, 27 points off those takeaways. by Sheldon Brown who had gone 19 games without a pick and almost came away with his second of this game. Well, you talk about the Dallas Cowboys.
Joe, and where they have been all week long, those in the press and talking about the struggles that this team has had or that Tony Romo has had. And I don't think that the Cowboys, this current team, really cares about what happened maybe 10 years ago, but I do think they care about what's happened over the last two or three years. And the team has not played well when it has mattered down the stretch. And even though the players have not acknowledged it or have tried to dismiss it, I think that pressure is very, very real. And now it's only going to continue. Romo is flushed out of the pocket, and he just throws it away. Well, I, I, I agree with you with what you said about Philadelphia. They have been always very good not making the emotional decision, whether it was Hugh Douglas or Deuce Staley, whatever they've done over the years. They've been very good at cutting ties at the right time. It's unrealistic to think all those players are going to come back. That's not the nature of the National Football League. But on the other side, I mean, it, it all has to be on the board for owner Jerry Jones. When you consider a guy who mortgaged everything to buy the Cowboys in 1989, he's going to come out of this game furious. And with that cryptic vote of confidence for Wade Phillips, our coaches are in place. I think it's all on the table after what's happened here in Philadelphia this evening. No doubt. is complete to Roy Williams just his second catch of this game. Go Kong on the tackle again of eight. And it will be fourth down to bring Sam Paulescu back onto the field and Wade Phillips won 12 of his first 13 games as the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys and he's about to go 10 and 10 since including the postseason lost last year at home to the New York Giants. Valescu hits it. Deshaun Jackson with a fair catch. Philadelphia Eagle offense will be back on the field. Who will be in that huddle for the Eagles who lead by 41? Okay, so the all-new 09 F-150 is the only truck with those new steps on the tailgate and the side of the box making it easier to get to the cargo. And you're thinking, yeah, I don't need those. Oh, yeah? Let's do the math. How many times are you going to be in and out of the cargo box? Once? Twice? No. I'm thinking 50, maybe 60,000 times, especially since it's got the most payload. You see what I'm getting at? Hey, unless all you're carrying is yarn, it seems like a no-brainer to me, okay? It's not just a new truck. It's a new F-150. Maybe it's ordering that lucky jersey. Maybe it's finding just the right widescreen. Between now and December 31st, using your Visa card not only helps you cheer your team to victory, it also enters you for a chance to win trips to Super Bowl 43, the 2009 NFL Pro Bowl, and a 2009 NFL playoff game. Visa. For game day, it's the way to go. That's one latte. Keep the change. Whoa. You can use that change to get double the beef for only 89 cents. Double the beef? You really just pushed a button. Change the way you see change. Taco Bell's cheesy double beef burrito. A double portion of seasoned ground beef smothered in melty nacho cheese sauce. It's double the beef for only 89 cents. Can I get some change, please? Why pay more? Today's game on Fox is sponsored by Visa. No matter how you prepare for game day, Visa is the way to go. By Taco Bell, think outside the bun. By Bud Light, the difference is drinkability. And by the all-new 09 F-150. It's not just a new truck, it's a new F-150. Tony Romo's... December record about to go to five and eight and for the Cowboys this December after so much talk going into that rough schedule they'll be one and three at the end of this month game at Pittsburgh the home games against the Giants and the Ravens and now this road game against Philly and off to Buckhalter and he gained half a yard to Marcus Ware on the tackle and it would be obvious by now as Terrell Owens has been shaking out that hand during the commercial break that DeMarcus Ware is going to come up short 
of the single season sack record. What a year he's had. 20 sacks. He's played hurt. Hyperextended left knee. Played through that the week after Thanksgiving. 20 sacks on the season to this point. How much more are the Eagles going to throw the ball up by 41? Maybe not at all as Buckhalter carries it over the right side, game three. And I think to follow up on that, Joe, I think it goes back to a conversation I had this week with, with corner Terrence Newman. And, and, you know, what happens if this Cowboy team doesn't make it to the playoffs? He said everything's for naught. Well, DeMarcus Ware's sacks are for naught. The signing of Tony Romo, you know, and what they paid him is for naught. The signing of Roy Williams and Terrell, you know, all, all the things, all the steps that were put in place for this team to be successful this year and then into the future for this season anyway is for not. I mean, a lot of money was spent signing bonuses in order to give this team a chance. Unfathomable to think that this team won't even make it into postseason play. Quick throw to Reggie Brown broken up by Mike Jenkins. And it's fourth down. And in case you're wondering, the largest margin of victory in this series between the Eagles and Cowboys 36 points the Eagles won 43 to 7 the second game of this series in 1961 the Cowboys came in in 1960 Rocka. with Pac-Man Jones waiting for it and he is just dragged down by Omar Gaither a return of just two yards. 44-3, Philadelphia. The not too heavy, not too light taste of the one beer that's always easy drinking. Bud Light. The difference is drinkability. What if you could give your family just what they want this holiday for one low price? Introducing Sprint Family Plans. You'll get unlimited nationwide text, video, picture messaging, and more. And save at least $240 a year over comparable AT&T and Verizon plans. What better way to bring the family together? America's largest, most dependable 3G network. Come to a Sprint store and find out how much you can save. These are the final days for Employee Pricing Plus. You pay what we pay. And it's the plus that sets us apart. The plus means our quality is unsurpassed by Honda or Toyota. And you can count on Ford Credit for the financing you need. Now until January 5th, get Employee Pricing Plus up to 6000 cash back. These are the keys to what America needs right now. To find your best price, visit a Ford or Lincoln Mercury dealer or go to Ford.com. Offer ends January 5th.
and played against Jim Johnson as a quarterback and knowing what he's about. And, and, and I like that, you know, Andy as an offensive guy recognized that Jim Johnson creates problems for an offense. He had been with Indianapolis and I mean that was the guy he wanted right from the beginning and, and it's been a it's really been a great marriage between the two. Four man rush in the pass is complete to Terrell Owens. And he does not have enough for a first down, a gain of nine. You know, how many times have we seen this Eagle organization over the years? And even last year, I mean, you could argue that, that last year was maybe Andy's best job of coaching, you know, to take that team when they were struggling and then have them playing as hard as they were at the end of last year. And it seems that that's just what this team's about under Andy Reid. You know, they struggle and then they, they get it going then at the last half of the year. Yeah, this is a team that knows how to finish a season, as opposed to the Cowboys who talked about their struggles in December. Andy Reid within the division is 13 and 5 in his coaching career against the NFC East in December and he's now 6 and 0 oh if you count this game against the Dallas Cowboys. Well, he's knowing how to finish. Yeah, and, and he knows what it takes and he knows what it takes in in big games. I mean, he's been in enough of them. Choice gets the handoff. Jordan on the tackle, a gain of 18. And I say all that after the debacle that they had last week, you know, in Washington when they controlled, you know, their destiny and who would have thought they would have gone out and played the way that they did. But I think if you look at, you know, at least four of the last five games, this team, this team really is playing as well as anybody in the league right now. Choice. Defense, the umpire is glad to get out of the way. My halfway it depends on the spot. Sorry, Looks John. like you got enough for first down. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Well, no, I, I was just going to say I halfway expect the ball to come bouncing out and see some guy in a in a green jersey darting down the field about 80 yards. Well, the funny thing is, not only are the Eagles three for three in the Dallas red zone. Last couple of times the Cowboys have gotten into the Eagles red zone. The Eagles have turned it into touchdowns. And now. Darren Howard just rips Tony Romo to the ground. A loss of seven with that sack. Well, when you get into these types of games and the Eagles are able to bring bring the pressure and puts a lot of strain then on those offensive linemen to try to hold up in pass protection and yeah, he corralled him pretty good. I don't know who's enjoying this more right now, the, the Eagle players or these Eagle fans. Well, I know that these Eagle players, considering how their day started, not knowing if this game would mean anything for them other than the chance to drag the Cowboys out of the playoff picture as Romo throws and nobody's there again. Boy, that's happened a lot the last few weeks. And now they're going to throw a flag for intentional grounding. He was in the pocket. Intentional grounded, quarterback, also loss of down, third down. It, it, it's really pretty remarkable, Joe. I mean, there's only one other game that I can think of anyway when in a, in a game, a, a very meaningful game where a team just really did not show up. And that was when the Giants and the Vikings were playing, I believe it was a 2000 season in the, in the NFC Conference Championship game. And everyone thought Minnesota was going to come in and blow them out. And it was the opposite. The Giants won 44 to nothing, I believe. But that's the only other game that comes to mind when I think about a really significant, important ball game. And one team just right from the start never showed up. And on third and 27, a screen to Marion Barber, who's brought down from behind by Howard. And if we continue with that theme, I mean, specifically talking, the play of Tony Romo in particular, and not being on the same page with whether it was Witten in the Pittsburgh Steeler game or it was different receivers even today, offensively totally out of sync for the most part. Pretty good against the Giants in their one win in December, but the other big games, they have not gotten a role going at all. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, I, I don't think Tony has played well. I think Tony would be the first guy to tell you that he hasn't played as well as what, as what he's capable of or as well as what he expected. Having said that, I think there were a lot of other problems out here today. 42-yard drive by Folk is good, and it's 44-6. to six. I woke up and found you creeping tiptoe Oh, girl, I know your secret. You dipping on me. Got that McNuggets loving. You went to McDonald's? It just ain't fair. Why can't you share your love with me? Nice song, but you're still not getting any of my crispy, juicy McNuggets. Girl, you got a 10-piece.
Suddenly a big boat pulls up next to you and you notice, hey, it's yours. That's when it occurs to you that while having a lot of towing power is nice, a little control to go with it would be great too. Enter the all new 09 F-150. It's got the most towing and now an advanced trailer sway control system. And guess what? It's standard. Anchors away, baby. It's not just a new truck. It's a new F-150. It's Dale. Come on up. From the guys who brought you Superbad. I think I pulled my groin. It's hardcore hilarious. Seth Rogen, James Franco, Pineapple Express. On Blu-ray High Def and DVD January 6th. This January, Monday nights are getting a new face. Which one of you is house? The big black guy. When medicine's most brilliant mind moves to a new night, Mondays at 8, 7 central. I think yeah. he's faking. New episodes. We need a crash cart in here. New cases. 32-year-old man with chronic pain all over. It's like I'm treating myself. Same old house. When's the last time you showered? The scent of a man. I realize you haven't experienced it sober. House moves to Mondays at 8, 7 central this January on Fox. Eagles are about to get the football back. Quentin Demps is the only one back for Philadelphia, as the Eagles half expect an onside try. But it's a regular kickoff, and here's the return by the rookie Demps. There's nowhere to go. There was no blocking in front of him. And he's wrapped up around the 10 by Trey Battle, five-yard return. A lot of celebrating defensive players for the Eagles, even number five, smiling all day long. These are the final days for Employee Pricing Plus. You pay what we pay. And it's the plus that sets us apart. The plus means our quality is unsurpassed by Honda or Toyota. And you can count on Ford Credit for the financing you need. Now until January 5th, get Employee Pricing Plus up to 6000 cash back. These are the keys to what America needs right now. To find your best price, visit a Ford or Lincoln Mercury dealer or go to Ford.com. Offer ends January 5th. <laughs> Things work. 
she's a rookie. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and this is another segue, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Rookies out here do what uh, the LPGA calls rookie hours, and they try to expose them to all the things that make up a golf tournament and make up this tour. And G.A. Shin worked with Paul Bamer in the, in the club trailer um, Tuesday of this week, and uh, the players were really giving her a hard time, putting her to work. Well, the players were giving her a hard time, and I guarantee Paul Bamer was giving her a hard time, too. But he said they've, he's actually had, had to tone down how many rookie hours can be done because all the rookies want to come into the club repair van and work with him. Well, G.A. Shin's a, she's a lovely person and uh, uh, really a warm uh, sense of humor, so well, very well liked. And you saw she was currently third and the number one leader in the Rolex standings is Lorena Ochoa and she's at the 17th now. 17, 174 yards today. Whole location right up the back right. I think, Judy, probably the easiest hole location on this hole today. Pretty much the traditional Sunday hole location. It certainly has become that the last few years. That's that's the bailout is to stay well short. The, the only really bad thing you can do to make it tough to make three if you hit a good shot is jump it just over the back of the green. And we go back to the 12th, the bunker shot of Brittany Lincecum. Yeah, ball buried in this bunker. Yeah, not much chance there, but well executed, I thought. Well, we couldn't really see just how bad the lie was, but uh, if it's even just a little bit buried, that's why you can't stop the ball quickly. And uh, Brittany Lincecum and the Kraft Nabisco, a tie for second, her best finish here. Tie for sixth in the LPGA Championship, seventh in the U.S. Women's Open, and 11th in the Women's British Open. You uh, alluded to it earlier, though. She had a terribly tough year last year. Here's Tiffany Joe, the amateur, third shot of the 18th. She's given herself a chance to make that birdie and be the low amateur. Although a difficult downhill putt. Christy Kerr back at the 12th. Christy Kerr and McPherson, I mean, they are exactly on the same line. I think this putt's gonna move a little bit to the left. This green has so much tilt from back to front, even though this kind of shelf back here in the left-hand corner 